let's just leave the vlog here and welcome to another week and round up. Now, uh, this week, again, not great for the CFC vlogger in terms of predictions. A lot of uh, anticlimactic games, a lot of surprises. So we'll go through. We'll start off with versus Arsenal. I predicted a 2 1 win for Arsenal, they're back on 3 1, so that's a point. So, you know, not a bad start. Again, the. They were lunch on kickoffs to be very kind to me, I think. I got three points from my uh, Liverpool prediction last week, and now I've got one point from this Arsenal prediction. Next, Everton vs West Brom. I predicted 1 0 to Everton. Turned out to be 0 0, so that's no points. We got Hull vs Norwich, one of the surprises of the. I was surprised at the weekend. I did a 2 0 Norwich when it turned out to be a 1 0 Hull win. There's a couple of dubious decisions in there. Um, I can't really remember how right they were. How right they were. I probably should do this like on a Tuesday and write notes down on Tuesday rather than waiting. Or at least write notes down when I'm watching like on match a day or something. But it was a couple of dubious decisions in there. But, yeah. Tough one, really. Uh, if I remember rightly, Norwich were. It was it was slightly. Norwich could concede themselves a bit unlucky that they lost that game. And then you got Southampton vs Sunderland. I did 3 1 win for Southampton. So that would be 1 0. Uh, Southampton did behave quite well as well, though. I think they brought him on late in the second half. Uh, I was counting on him kind of starting. Uh, so yeah, that's just. Text again. Uh, got a minute, sorry guys. Uh, I was counting on him starting, I thought he'd get a few goals in his debut, but no, and I think both, I mean, it was a fair result really that ended up 1 0. Then you got Palace versus Stoke. I was expecting me to be a ball draw, but it turned out to be 2 1. Palace actually going 1 0 up against Stoke for, um, Conceding two goals in that four minutes. I mean, Palace again, same, they put a lot of fight into performance, the quality shot's not there, so, you know, I can't see them staying up, not with the signings they have at the moment. You know, they haven't really made any huge signings, they haven't made any signings that make me think, yeah, uh, that, that puts them in a good position. You've got Newcastle versus West Ham, I was a 3 2 win for West Ham, turned out to be 0 0. Uh, good result for Newcastle in hindsight, considering they got absolutely hammered by Manchester City in the first game and West Ham had quite a good result against Newly Pratted Cardiff. So yeah that was a ended up being a fairly good result for Newcastle. I think they'll be happy with that. And then we got Liverpool versus Aston Villa. Liverpool winning one nil another Daniel Sturridge goal. Daniel Sturridge been on great form this year. Uh, continuing from his form from last year, and he's generally quite good. I mean, I was expecting a 4 3 win for Liverpool. I was expecting quite a lot of goals. You know, you've got Benteke at your four. Uh, I mean, Benteke for Aston Villa, uh, Bongham for Aston Villa, and then you've got like Aspaz. Not Aspaz, Aspaz. Um, uh, uh, Coutinho, Sturridge, and that for, for Liverpool. And, but that's a point for me anyway, you get predicting the right team to win. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's a bit of a disappointing game. I mean, this is what Liverpool's tactics going to be for this season, just getting one goal and shutting them out. I hope not. I mean, it could get them places. I believe they're only team left with 100% win record. But I wish, I don't want them to do that, because they play quite entertaining football. I want. But again, it's a good, a good game, really. Good game, considering it was a 1 0. Then you've got the biggest surprise of the weekend, I would say, and that's Cardiff 3, Manchester City 2. I expected a 3 0 win for Man City, and it started like, yeah, that's going to happen with Eddie Dzeko scoring an amazing goal. But then Cardiff just ran ramp, just three, I think it was all three were from corners as well. I think, I'm think i pretty sure all three were from corners, at least two of them were from corners, and I both. Uh, Fraser Campbell goals from corners. And again, Fraser Campbell looks good. He look he looked like he could score a few a few more goals. And I hope he does because you know was it him that was injured and then came back and scored that amazing goal for Sunderland? 
out of the out of FA, I don't have a clue, but I seem to remember a Campbell coming back from injury and scoring like a mad spectacular goal for Sunderland. I know uh, Fraser signed for Cardiff in January. I don't know if that would have been possible, but you know. So you got Spurs with squad just which is a three one win for Spurs. It ended up being a one 0 win from another Soldado penalty. It's got to be worrying for Spurs, the fact that they're relying on Soldado penal- uh, penalties. Although it's not, although they looked the better teams in both games, they should you'd hope that you wouldn't want to be relying on penalties. I mean, at least they're getting the wins, but you know it's a bit. Meh. Then you've got Man United versus Chelsea. And I think it's a really exciting game. I think it's five four, and it was a bit of a more ambitious. Prediction is more of a hope than a prediction. I was hoping it was going to be that kind of game, but it turned out to just be a new little draw. Uh, Jose Mourinho went to Old Trafford looking for the draw, clearly, and he got it. And you know, if you can do that, you can do that. Getting them to draw at Old Trafford isn't an easy thing to do. Uh, you know, there wasn't too many chances. I mean, Van Persie had a couple, as he always does. You know, I think Chelsea barely had any there, like one or two. It's just a really boring, boring game. And that's really unfortunate because I'm hoping for an exciting game. And the last backdrop was Stoke was abandoned, obviously. I did predict 1 0, but I'm not sure. I might re predict that before the the replay. I don't, the replay hasn't been announced yet, as far as I know. But we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see what's going on with that. But yeah, this will be your CFC blogger. And. Okay, I guess that's it for the weekend roundup. Watch out for on Friday, I'm going to be releasing another uh, weekend predictions or weekend preview, whatever you want to call it. So, this is good CFC Vlogger, and see you all later.